there are some awesome books out this September and there are a whole load of books that I haven't managed to read so far this year so um, welcome to my September TBR. Welcome back or if you are new here welcome my name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week um, and movie reviews here at the weekend in the description box you will find all of my social links including my blog and my goodreads where I try to keep up with reviewing everything that I read but I'm not reading a lot right now so it's going pretty well um yeah September TBR is not going to be very ambitious I have my August wrap-up coming your way very soon which if you're already following me on Goodreads you will know is going to be quite quite small um, and so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that one because that will make sense for why this September TBR needs to be just just a little bit you know foot off the accelerator a little bit um, so yes let's talk about those September releases starting off with one that was on both I think it was on like my June TBR onwards I feel sorry for this book um, but as you are watching this it is about to be released so the link will be in the description box um, I am considering trying to pre-order this one on audiobook as I'm filming this to try and make sure it does get read but um, as you're watching this hopefully I will be deep into it there we go. Uh, this is The Library by Bella Osborne, um, which I am very excited about reading. And I've said for reasons why in previous videos, but I'm just, I am very excited about reading this. I feel sorry for this book because it keeps getting put off and put off and put off. So I apologize, Bella Osborne. I will read The Library very, very soon because everything about this cover appeals to me. And I do love a Bella Osborne novel. So 2nd of September UK release for this one. Also coming out on the 2nd of September, we have part three in the new series from Holly Hepburn, The Little Shop of Hidden Treasures. Part three is called Broken Promises. If you've read part two, that might make a lot of sense to you. I did say in my August TBR that I would possibly do a reading vlog in and around York for part two. However, then I looked and saw that part three was coming out on the 2nd of September, decided to go ahead and read part two. So that will be uh, featured in my August wrap up. And um, I will be doing a reading vlog in and around York for part three. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. Um, but yes, looking forward to reading part three. There's still time to catch up with parts one and two. Again, everything will be linked in the description box. I'm loving this new series and not just because it's set in Yorkshire. And then I have a physical book, which I was very kindly sent by the lovely people at Books in the City at Simon & Schuster. This is The Bookshop of Second Chances by Jackie Fraser. The ebook and audiobook for this one came out, I think this time last year. I feel like I should know that, but the paperback of this one is coming out on the 2nd of September, just like the previous two books I mentioned. Um, this one is an enchanting story of Scottish Lords, second-hand books and new beginnings. Um, and I do actually have an audio review copy of this one. I have already started it as I'm filming this video. Um, and I am on the blog tour for this one, blog linked in the description box on Sunday on the 5th of September. So my review will be up and ready then and it means that you know that this one is hopefully going to feature on the September wrap-up video as well. This one is adult rom-com and I'm just very excited to read it and it just smells so good. I'm so excited to be receiving physical proofs again. So excited, so here for that. Okay, so there's our September 2nd releases. Then we have a couple of book versus movies that will come as no surprise to you because these were on my uh, August TBR so I still have not managed to um, read or watch The Last Letter from Your Lover by Jojo Moyes but I am excited to read and watch it and then make a book versus movie video for it and additionally of course we have One Last Time Kissing Booth Part 3 uh, this one came out on what like the 10th of August on Netflix and I bought the book and I also have the audiobook from my library so there's no excuses for this one but it's back on the TBR again so maybe we can make this happen in the month of September. If you've seen this one or read this one yet let me know in comments what you thought of it. I'm intrigued to hear. I've seen mixed opinions online but I'm still really excited to read and watch and make that book versus movie for you here on this channel. Um, and then finally I also would really, really, really 
like to reread again I have a physical copy and I also have an audio copy of the single girls to-do list if you missed my most recent massive book haul um, you will have missed the fact that I bought the new um, edition of this one because it has um, an 80 page bride to be story in it so I read this one when I first well when it first um, came out when I first moved um, down to the south um, and was kind of newly single um, and I'm excited to read it now I'm kind of in a different place in my life I do have an audio copy I have this physical copy and I would really like to read and review this new story as well and apparently um, one needs to have some sort of familiarity or it is an advantage to have some sort of familiarity with the single girls to do list by lindsay kelk before reading lindsay kelk's newest novel which comes out i want to say the 11th of november definitely november um but this is on a night like this um the tagline for this one is anything can happen if you just take a chance and it is just gloriously romantic cover i think you will agree um and yeah apparently there is possibly a character cameo or some sort of link with this one and single girls to do list and yeah i'm just excited to read them both and so if i can just carve out some time and um yeah spend some time <laughs> with both of these books back to back that would just be amazing wouldn't it i think that that would be just a jolly good time perhaps something that needs to be vlogged but yes so we have we we've thrown a little november release onto the tbr having said that this tbr will be small and unambitious we're throwing a november release out there but i think really really do think that now I've got August out my system, I'm hopefully getting back into some kind of routine being back in this country, um, I will have time to hopefully read these books. And you know, they all kind of form some sort of commitment to something, whether it's a video for you or a blog post or needing to read something to read another book. I feel like that will definitely help me get to these books. And I feel like you will definitely help me get to these books by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving me a comment, letting me know what you are going to be reading in the month of September. Or again, if you have read any of these books or watch any of these tie-in films um, I would be very intrigued to hear your thoughts and comments. I will be back with my August wrap-up for you very soon so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post this Sunday's movie review. Um, I am going to the cinema imminently after filming this video and I will have a review for you of that film coming up on Sunday so you're not going to want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you with that movie review on Sunday. 